Make sure you close up. Looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. All right. Let's meet up with everyone after school. With this, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed, they'll become the criminals we've set them up to be, just as you instructed. She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? But what's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura! So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning-fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday. A public prosecutor came to my home. Um... It was a woman named... Nijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... Things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... We may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. 
What else are we supposed to do then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? Mishima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he's a good person deep down. We can't betray him. Hey! Make sure you close up. that girl worrying about others even at a time like this impossible Welcome.
Do you like the rain? Sounds great. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Now. Thank you. Great.
Well, uh... Hold on! Thank you. Do it. think about Wakaba on the anniversary of her death, but it's been a while since I visited. I've been so busy with the shop and all. No, no, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here, I can finally meet her with my head held high. <laughs> I sure kept her waiting. But it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. Oh, I told her about you, too. Idiot. I should be the one thanking you. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Uh, this is what my real smile looks like. I approve. Oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. It was because of you, wasn't it? <laughs> I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. <sighs> Do all fathers have to go through this anxiety? You know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. But you showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect. Not just Futaba. But you, too. I may not always be reliable. But feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you. As family. And, uh, uh, I know. I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. That might not be enough to return the favor. But it's all I can do. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. 
right. Oh, and, uh, could you not, uh, you know, get with Futaba? I can't imagine you calling me father. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. What are you two talking about? Nothing. I hunger. Curry time! Yeah, yeah. Let's go home. This sucks. Are you listening? No way. <laughs> hey. Would you like? What? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's do it. Ah. 
See you later. Haru. She's the one who should be in pain right now, yet she's still trying to cheer us up. Well then. Oh. 
I see. Oh. That's too bad. Oh. That's too bad. Oh.
back. surprised she seems down. You should keep her in your thoughts. Still, despite how she looks, Haru has quite the backbone. I'm sure she'll be okay. I'll just add this. Sorry. Hey.
Yeah. Phantom Thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? I thought they were gonna change that CEO's heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa too? I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Oh man, does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Well, shall we begin? Ooh, we can do this! You're still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi-kun has been right all along. He's so admirable sticking to his guns even though so many people were against him? That's enough. If you don't quiet down, I'll have to ask you to leave. Now, everyone. Ooh, we can do this! Phantom Thieves have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a Phantom Thief the other day. For real? You gotta report that. Oh crap, you think so? I snapped a pic, so I should probably put it online just in case. I hope the cops catch him.
Okay, class, let's get started. Ooh, we can do this. are here again? Yeah, seems like it's for real this time. Apparently one of our students is a phantom thief. Seriously? I read the same thing online. Apparently public security is already on the move. It's open. Um. Welcome. <laughs> I suppose plants do need watering after all. Oh, I know. You should go help Haru. I'll let the others know. Oh, have you come up here to assist me? You, um, heard that, didn't you? I'm not worried about the garden, in case you were wondering. It's just, so much has happened to me lately. Perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. 
Which means suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. I am. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. It's just... I know I'm the president's daughter, but I never thought I'd actually end up involved in company business. Because of that, lately I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets, stocks... It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. But it feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Uh, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age. Closer to my own viewpoint. Hmm. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? In return, I'll... Hmm. What can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at it. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? I grew these right here in these very planters, and harvested them myself not too long ago. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... <laughs> you like vegetables? That's good to know. But to tell the truth, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? Thank you. I'm sure Sakura-san will give me his honest opinion. I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. Well then, shall we head over to the hideout? Congrats on surviving midterms! <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. Gathering everyone's opinions and immediately acting upon them. In order to make that natural course of action a reality, I will... Uh, again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before. But were you able to figure out what it was? The Medjed that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjed after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjed. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjet? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjet member. So, someone used the Mejed name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. 
Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they use the Medjed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? For summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group, and the one who tampered with the site, are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjed's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing, and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way! This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjed. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? Yeah. This doesn't mean that we've lost yet. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. 
That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know. Everything's going to be fine. Unless they know about the Metaverse, there's no way they'll get any info on us. I'll just add this. 